Today, I'm delighted to be joined by the Managing Director of Galan Lithium, JP Vargas, as well as Daniel Jimenez, who's a founding partner at Illy Markets and a non-executive director with Galan. Both, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, JP, your maiden resource at the Candela's Lithium project in Argentina exceeded company expectations. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, well, first of all, we are quite delighted to be in Perth. Um, you know, I'm here with Daniel. This is our first trip, well, Daniel's first trip to Perth and the first trip to Australia as a Galan director. Uh, we are delighted that someone who is um, Caliber, you know, just uh, joined Galan and uh, and uh, Galan has got a lot of strengths that I mentioned, you know, in, in the terms of uh, where we think where are we looking to grow. But um, the strength of uh, our project in the global market is, um, you know, giving us a uh, a uh, strong base for um, Daniel to be convinced to join us and, and since the last two months we've done um, uh, fairly good progress in terms of uh, where, we, um, where we're at and what our strategy going forward um, for Galan and, um, and you know, I could not be happier, happier than uh, have, um, Daniel with us. And what are some things shareholders can look forward to in the new year ahead? Well, um, this feels like a commercial punt but uh, that's not all Candelas. We've got um, the Western tenements we have drilled and um, to our delight and um, nature sometimes gives you good surprises. The grades that we've had encountered on the Western tournaments um, uh, are pretty much around 20% higher of what we experience on average at Candelas and the impurity levels are significantly low as well. So um, we have announced that we have done geophysics and uh, we engage SRK as well to, to start doing the resource um, estimation of the Western tenements. So everything indicates that potentially the project could be a competing project with Candelas. That's something that SRK needs to do and do the work and, and we'll come out with our conclusions. But um, uh, next early next year, uh, hopefully sometime in, in uh, yeah, the Q1, we'll have that resource estimate to the public and uh, from then on we'll start, we'll assess uh, in more detail which project we're going to go first and how big they are and it's all very exciting about what's the next step to us. And now Daniel, you have extensive experience in lithium. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I've, indeed I have more than 20 years of lithium experience in my, in my history. I worked for SQM who used to be the largest lithium producer uh, almost from the very beginning when XQM started to produce lithium and I held in total around 10 years the, uh, commercial, the uh, senior commercial vice president position. Now, the demand for electric vehicles seems to keep growing. How is global demand for lithium currently? Well, indeed, uh, the, the underlying fundamentals for the demand growth of lithium are very strong. Uh, electric vehicles are going to penetrate in a, in a very significant way. Uh, the, the, car, the car market. So it is uh, not unreasonable to think that uh, lithium demand is going to triple within the next uh, five to six years. To satisfy that demand we will need a lot of incremental lithium produced than what is produced today. We are at the moment seeing though a very um, prices of lithium dropping um, basically because a lot of new supply came into the market over the last uh, two years. So we are in a period of adjustments. We will probably see prices of lithium falling still a little bit, but eventually lithium prices will recover because the fundamentals behind are very, very strong. So I would expect uh, this to happen within, within the next 12 months. Um, the speed of that recovery will largely depend on, the, on production decisions today. And the, the long-term price of lithium will also largely depend on investment decisions today. If investment is delayed, we could see again some shortage of lithium in three years from now. Um, and this could make prices go up very significantly. But if the industry is mature enough to, to continue investing, to continue developing and trying to pace, uh, to keep the pace of demand, we'll see a very healthy market for everybody long-term here. Thank you both so much for coming today.